Live from Bowling Green's television news source. Marie Dunn. Bob Jones. Teresa Pollack with weather. James Ryan with sports. And Beth Tig with entertainment news. Ready, Mike and Q talent, ready to roll 10. And five, four, three, two, fade up two, Mike Q, roll 10. This is BG24 News. Little mechanical problems with people going out to stories, forgetting a battery, forgetting the camera, forgetting a tape, um, asking a person to do another interview. It was kind of like the daily things of a comedy of errors more than ha ha funny. Now, there are mistakes made everywhere. Uh, and I think the funniest things is you see professionals in the real world today making the same mistakes that students make in college. It needs to be a training ground, and part of it being a training ground is for students to learn for themselves, for students to make mistakes. I know what I would like to see. I would like to see much more equipment, much more editing rooms, more dedicated areas to BG24 News, uh, not just the teaching faculty, not just the teaching facilities, but uh, something that they would have designated for their own very use. One of the things that I, I look forward to in the future is I look, I look for growth. I want to see the organization continue to grow, and that's going to take strong leaders. Uh, it's not an easy job to be an executive producer at all. In fact, it's probably the toughest job you're going to have in college, no matter what. Well, that's part of the reason why I came to Bowling Green, was because of BG24 News and the experience that I knew I would get from it. Um, I was very intimidated by it at first, coming to the first meeting and seeing all of these people and not knowing the first thing about television or about news and I was very intimidated by it. That current year's exec board, Doug uh, Whitmire, Dan Spieler, um, Angie Zwiebel, Casey O'Brien, we're all there um, along with all the other students that thought that it'd be a good idea for them to show up and might uh, get involved in the organization. Um, and it was a very uh, interesting learning experience, very positive. Uh, even just the new member meeting was a very positive experience. So you had a good time uh, having uh, fun with your friends and co-workers as well as learning things that you would have with you for the rest of your life. I was glad to be involved with BG24 News. Uh, it was probably the hardest job that I've ever had to do in my life and if I were asked to do it again, I would. I would do it a lot earlier. I would have started my freshman year. Um, so I could even have that, I started in my sophomore year, I'd have a year more experience. Um, and I think I would do it because it just, you build each year. I would tell anybody who is who wants to work in this business to get involved in BT24 or whatever they want to do out of college because it, it can only help you once you graduate and help you find a job. The experience that I learned there, I didn't really know how to produce. I had no idea how to edit. I knew somewhat how to write, but I didn't have good skills reporting on air or, or anchoring either. And all of those things just, um, in, a, in a year and a half, I learned. And a lot of people go on to other stations across the country. We've had people go to Missouri, to uh, North Carolina, as, as on-air talent people, as anchors, as reporters. If we continue to go the way that it has been, and each year students get better and improve, and they continue to, to build upon where they are from before, I think the program's going to thrive. something that has done nothing but help me. Um, it started, I r first realized that when I was in my, started getting into the core journalism classes last semester, and a lot of the stuff we were learning in there, I already had learned down here. And so that put me one step ahead of the students in my class. And this summer when I was at an internship, um, my first internship, I realized how much BG24 News means and how much I've learned here. More stories in the community and like to keep the relationship going that they have with the university. 
I think that it has the potential of becoming a news bureau um, for the Toledo market. I'd like to see them be able to do remotes from around campus. That would be great. With all of the emphasis that we have on sports and with Bowling Green being such a big sports university, um, I could see us expanding perhaps to, uh, in this area also in uh, doing news interviews and in, in having more facilities. If the founders of BG24 News, the, the first group of students who started off ever had any doubts, they shouldn't because it's, uh, it's not only functioning, but I think it's, it's growing in a healthy way. It has the potential to be just a strong news source for a long time to come. There's areas to improve upon. Uh, right now, we, you know, we only do a 5.30 show. There could be a 10.30. There could be a weekend. You know, there, there, there's the potential is there to do a lot of different things. As long as the funding stays behind the program, the university stays behind the program, and the people stay involved in the program and don't lose their, you know, their urge, their drive, I, I think the program will do well. I think the program will be hurt if the, the students lose interest in it, if the department it doesn't stay behind it and you know uh, well, you don't have a room because we need the room for something else you lose that kind of stuff you lose that support from the department and you're going to lose an incredibly valuable asset to that university without a doubt I can say that this is kind of the uh, thing I'm most proud to be involved in and all of my activities and organizations and I think I've taught close to 4,000 students since I've been here without a doubt uh, the uh, working with BG24 News, the professionalism, the determination, the excitement and enthusiasm that students give me has certainly been my favorite experience at Bowling Green.